Hi, I'm Lou, another episode of My Car Story. We're here at the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois. You gotta come out here and see some of the greatest muscle cars in the entire nation. I'm here with Jody Taylor. Jody, good to see you. And Bill, thanks for the holding the camera. And Jody, step right next to me. What did what did you bring out here today? Uh, this is a 74 GTO. It's a four-speed car uh, with a trunk. 74. GTO, come on with me here, Jody. You just don't see these, do you? No, there's. Uh, I think I've made a little over 2,800 of these and a little over 7,000 total. <laughs> here it is. That is great. And how long you had it? I've had it a couple years. And all the GTO badging back in that time frame was stickers and. Yeah, they were stickers. Uh, quite a quite a change from what they used to have. Right. That's the whole beauty. Still had the hood scoop, which was pretty cool. Yeah, that was the only year for the shaker hood scoop like a Trans Am would have. It, exactly. And the back of that actually, I'm going to zone in on that, that actually opens. You yeah. said over 135 temperature when yeah. you step on it. It's actually functional. Actually, the Trans Ams, nothing was functional other than this one from Pontiac in 1974. So that was it. And I'm just going to quickly go over the build sheet, let people kind of pause on that as they'd like. Get some of the details there. That's great. Okay, let's step back from it and let's get an overall look at the car. And this car is all the way back to stock. That is except, correct. Except there is a little few tricks because what do you do with this car besides drive it? Oh, uh, we race it. We <laughs> race, race it at the uh, GTO. We, we race it at the Pure Stock Muscle Car Drag races. Nice. So it has a few, go ahead, you want to you want to share some of your secrets or should we keep uh, that just, between us? Just a couple. <laughs> All right, just share a couple so that you know, what um, can you share with us that the competition doesn't need to know about? Um, basically, I mean, it's pure stock. We have basically a uh, 390 rear end in it, uh, which makes the motor work very well since it's not very powerful. The suspension's a little loose in the front to give it a little more uh, swing to the back. Um, it's got a nice mandrel bent exhaust system, X-pipe. Just little things, I didn't go crazy on this car. Uh, it runs in the 1470s on these bias ply tires. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty it's impressive. about a second faster than the uh, magazines clocked back in the day, yeah. which is pretty let's, normal. Let's get a shot of the uh, back of the car. It has that kind of Nova feel to it. Exactly. And let's open up the, uh, I'll let you open up the uh, okay. driver's door there. We'll take a look inside. Let's first start right there. Hey, there's another GTO badge. <laughs> nice, all right. And, you know, kind of roomy inside. Not too bad, not Stop. too bad. There we go. Yeah, these are the flavor of it. And let's, uh, big Pontiac steering wheel. Wipers. The four speed, as you can see down there. Were those stock gauges down there? Yes, yeah, it was optional. This had the gauges and then it has the tachometer over on the left side. Really? And it has the clock on the right, which does work. So it, it, it has a, a little bit of a, a, a kind of a mix of things. You've got a Trans Am hood scoop, you've yeah. got a it looks like Camaro gauges sitting yes. up the center. Yeah. Uh, really kind of. A Nova body. A Nova <laughs> body. So we've mixed it all up. Yeah. Let's let's take a look under the hood. Okay. There we go. Wow, very clean. Very nice, Jody. Thank you. Really looks good. Any special stories with this car? That I need to know about you something know, that comes to mind. The reason I uh, got one is because back when I was a small kid, we had one running around our hometown that was uh, pro street, blown, injected, and it was a Carcraft National Grand Champion car, and I always wanted one. You said that's it. So there's the story for the My Car story. That's how you get your 74 GTO and fall in love with it and keep it all the way back to GM standards here. That looks fantastic. See the hole through the hood there. Let's uh, can we start it for a second? Sure, absolutely. Let's start it since we've got a chance. I want to get the exhaust note too after you start it. Nice little shot. 
shaker there. That sounds really cool. It is. Yeah. There are only 200 horsepower, so there isn't a lot there to listen to. Yeah. And there you go. You can kind of hear the exhaust note there as you're listening. All right. Jody, let's come on back up to the front. Let's shut the hood for a moment. Let's have you stand right next to your car. Stand right next to it. Big tall guy that you are. I'll have to pull back a little bit. Jody, thanks for being on my car story. Thanks for having me.